Hey, MCE crew, let's jump right into this. We're going to talk about the labor market and we're going to examine it from the standpoint of some opportunities that you may be able to take advantage of in order to achieve independence, okay? Financial independence in your situation. Now, look, don't let the smooth taste fool you. Just because someone is making a lot of money, that means nothing in terms of what type of uh, financial independence status they hold, if any, okay? Now, recently, we just had some uh, examples. We had the gentleman Ky Kyrie Irving, which we talked about at length in a previous video, and John Gruden, okay? Both men making millions, okay, per year. Both men separated from their jobs because they don't own the NFL in Gruden's uh, situation or the NBA in Mr. Irving's situation. So what we saw, and look, I'm not going to get into uh, the controversy with Gruden. I'm just examining this as I always do from the financial standpoint. Now, Gruden uh, was obviously someone who loved his job, uh, as is Mr. Kyrie Irving. Um, because th th this is not laying hot tar on a roof, okay, or working on a road crew laying hot asphalt in August. This is the NFL, the NBA, oh man, the accolades, okay, the money, the stardom, the opportunities that come along with it, great. But in the case of Gruden, an email, or a few emails, um, have now e been the uh, catalyst to eject him from his multi-million dollar per year compensation package. And look, John Gruden is not living on North and Duplin in Baltimore. This is where I come from, okay? Do a Google Street View. Check that out. Uh, he's Wherever he's living is commensurate with the compensation package that he uh, was earning, but he didn't have total control over his situation. Okay. So don't let that, don't, I used to be that way. I used to strive for uh, more and more uh, or higher and higher positions within corporate America. Okay. All the while not knowing that, yeah, you were going to get a little bit more money. It was never going to match the amount of response, new responsibility you were given. Not in corporate America, doesn't work that way. But at the same time, I didn't have any control. So I took control and I left corporate America of my own volition. And that's a better way to leave than being pushed out, like we saw with Gruden, unprepared, back out into the wild, okay? Out of Eden, buddy. Now you gotta, I don't know what the hell he's gonna do. Uh, maybe he did wonders with his money, who knows? But uh, his whole. Skilo is built on football, and he will not be coaching a Pop Warner team, all right, let alone doing any broadcasting. So that whole uh, paradigm where he derived money from, poof, gone. And uh, this is Kyrie Irving's last contract year, so we'll see how that works out for him. And I'm sure that he's not going to be the last athlete who has said, I'm not doing a certain thing and uh, will be suspended or have his income curtailed in the process. So look, how can, you, how can you work around that? How can you be someone that is independent, okay, financially? Well, making income, the first thing you want to do is, and again, you can look at uh, Robert Kiyosaki's Cash Flow Quadrant, good book, by the way, if you want to uh, confirm what I'm about to say. There are four aspects of this quadrant. There's the employer. I'm sorry, employee. We'll get to employee in a second. Then there is the sole proprietor. You know what the employee is. The sole proprietor is next on the, the ladder. And that simply means you own a job. A lot of real estate agents, a lot of financial services professionals, doctors, lawyers, they own that job, which means that yeah, although you're not working for the man, you can't miss a day of work because if you miss a day of work, you miss production, then you're going to miss out on some money. Next, we have the business owner. This is an individual who 
actually can go and lay on a beach and because he or she owns a business, money is still being made. Let me give you an example. Now, look, we can take a, a very obvious example. Let's say someone owns a uh, franchise restaurant like a Dunkin' Donuts or a McDonald's. Okay. I actually know someone who lives next door to someone who I don't know, but this individual owns a lot of gas stations and uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. The neighbor, my friend owns financial services businesses. Um, and let me tell you what, <laughs> both of their houses are in excess of a million dollars and it paid for. Okay. So, uh, this individual who owns these gas stations, owns these, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, do you think they're in there working every day? They couldn't because they own so many of them. Sure. They're, they've got management and whatnot. That's going to, you know, oversee things and maybe they'll drop by every now and then and check on their investment. But they are off probably figuring out more ways to make money while money is being made for them uh, in their business. That's one example. Another example is a lot of people right here on YouTube have a business. They go and they record uh, content that people want to consume. And then that content continues to generate money for them. OK, if it's popular content. So that and everything in between, that's a business owner. And that's where you want to get to, okay? Now, you can still be canceled in today's society, even if you're a business owner. If they find an email uh, that you wrote, or say you wrote a note to someone while you were in ninth grade, okay, 50 years ago, and the note says uh, something that is out of line with today's uh, thought patterns and practices and mores, okay? In that case, um, you know, there may be some ramifications for that. We see Dave Chappelle going through uh, some of this cancel culture right now. But you know what can't be canceled? You know when you don't have to fight the battle at all and when you're totally free financially and otherwise? It's when you reach that fourth category on Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant, which is investor. Uh, the investor quadrant quadrant has you in a place where, like that guy was just telling you about, money just flowing, okay? And he's, I would say that he has transcended, the person with the Dunkin' Donuts and the gas stations, he has transcended from business owner on through to investor, as you know, because he owns so much and he does not have to be actively involved and he can say whatever he wants. And he's probably hidden underneath so many LLCs that, you know, would take to, take an act of Congress to actually find out who he is. All right. This is no dummy uh, that, you know, he has uh, achieved uh, financial freedom, financial independence. OK, so that's what you need to be striving for. Now, how can you get there? Well, college is not the best route, okay? College, you can go to college if you want, fine, but there are only a few majors that are out there that are worth anything. Medicine, law, uh, engineering, maybe a couple of others, okay, that you can actually get into and know that you're going to make some money if you're good. Uh, the other thing is, because if you're good, Tesla, Google, these companies that are Amazon, they're not hiring you if you're mediocre, Okay, understand that. But if you if college is not where you want to be, then there are other areas that you can get into. There are trades. Now, these trades are very important because you might be able to have a uh, robot or an artificially intelligent system do a lot of things in the white collar world. Okay. Or exchange a human for something that's just, you know, computerized. But you're not getting, we're far away from the point where a robot is going to march into your house and do plumbing, electrical work, or uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or get under the hood, naturally manipulate parts and, you know, uh, torque off certain nuts and bolts. I talked to a good friend of mine today who owns a mechanic shop. 
and uh, he was telling me that someone who owns a mechanic in this shop, if you're good, you can make $130,000 easy. Okay, if you're good, okay, no room for slouches. When I get my brake job, I want to know that the brakes are going to work. Uh, he told me that, you know, a good mechanic can make 130. He also shared with me that someone who owns a shop can easily make over a half a million dollars a year. Okay, it's got to be well managed and, you know, have the right kind of business and, and all that in terms of location and all that stuff. So those are opportunities you can put your hands on today by going and getting certified in these fields. And just like he said with the auto mechanic, sure, you start off as that. But as you are learning that trade, then if you've got some entrepreneurial spirit about you, you are applying the trade with the idea that one day I'm going to go into business for myself. OK, um, even though car ownership, the whole thinking around it may change. I may not directly own a car uh, 20 years into the future if this robo taxi thing catches on. However, uh, the car will still exist. OK, it will still need to be re repaired periodically. It is a machine. OK, so you may go from doing business directly with me to doing business directly with Tesla. OK, a regional uh, repair facility for Tesla's robo taxi, for example. Those are just a few examples. A robot is not going to be able to come here and fix my air conditioner and then walk a few acres and fix my neighbors because our layouts are totally different. OK. Got to be a hell of a smart robot to do that. And we are not there yet. So you have an opportunity to go out and establish a business. And your business might start off as a sole proprietorship. You might own that job. You might be going out and doing the plumbing or whatever it is you're doing. Not necessarily, um, you know, hands on stuff. But you need to transcend through business owner into investor. And then you will be free because you'll be sitting back doing whatever the hell you want to do while checks roll in, while profit, well, revenue and profit as well rolls in to you. That's where you want to be, people, okay? So um, I will talk to you soon. Next up, we're going to talk about all of these jobs that people are quitting in America. Talk to you very soon.